What's up, guys? Welcome back to a video. This is post game Alabama versus Duke. So, this is very unscripted right after. So, excuse me if I say a lot of um. <laughs> so, we had a soppy start. I'm going to get right to it. Soppy start. We really had a tough time going. It was scoreless at the end of the first quarter. Zero to zero. And we really didn't get anything going. We were going three and out. But our defense was doing pretty good. Then we kind of sped it up in the fourth quarter. We got going. We got rhythm. Duke did score a field goal. That's all they scored. Then... We, so we went into half, made some adjustments, and third quarter we came out slinging it, and we took the lead. I believe at the end of the third quarter it was either 28 or 35 to 3. And then from then on there we kind of just ran the clock out, put in our backups, put in Mac Jones, put in Talia Tungavalo, uh to his brother. We really kind of just let the game get itself out. But we did pretty good. Uh, it was a pretty good game. For Alabama, we got some experience with Matt Jones, especially with the starters. Tua did pretty good. I want to touch on this slightly. I will make a whole video about this this week. I said it was coming today. I can't do it today. I might film it today. But, all I heard, all offseason, all offseason, Trevor Lawrence is the best QB. He's better than Tua. Tua can't even hang with him. Trevor Lawrence is the best thing since sliced bread. The other night versus Georgia Tech, he had 168 yards and two touchdowns, I believe, was the stats for him. And about a 50-ish, 60-ish completion percentage. Completion percentage. Tua, however, in this game, had 300 yards, 330 to be exact, and four touchdowns. And around, I think a 60 or a 70 completion percent. Probably a high 60. Like I said, this is right after the game. So, just want to touch on that lightly. Hashtag Tua for Heisman. <laughs> I know it's early, but still. Anyways. Heisman watch coming next Thursday. Anyways. I really like this game. I really like, really like what we did. It was a pretty good game. We need to uh, play better in the first quarter. Get it, get more, energized, get more, get better in the first quarter, getting it out. We can't have slow starts like that. We really got to take control early. Um, I really don't have much to say for this game. Duke played pretty good. Uh, our defense had two interceptions, I think three turnovers. I think there was like a fumble too. Our defense did really, really good this game, even without Dylan Moses. Uh, I'm praying. If you saw my video earlier earlier this week, I'm praying for him. Hopefully, he has a speedy recovery. But I really don't have much to say this week for this post game. Try to keep the video short. Next week, we play New Mexico State. A cupcake. Two will be out by the uh by the half. But thank you for watching. These were my post game thoughts on the Alabama versus Duke game. Roll Tide, and I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe.